I don't know what it is about these Chinese Android OEMs and coming up with new interesting software solutions for multitasking, but we have another one to talk about here today. And this one is actually the Vivo X Fold 5, a device that is already extremely exciting in and of itself just because of the specifications, the thinness, the camera. It's already a very exciting device, but now via this post on Weibo, we have a look at something that I think best translation I can come up with is called Atomic Workbench, and this is something that might look kind of familiar to you guys if you've seen uh, Apple's stage manager feature. It's a little bit different, but it's very, very similar, and I think that it looks to me like an absolutely perfect fit for an 8-ish inch folding screen. So in the video attached to that post, what we see is the Vivo X Fold, and they're playing some sort of top-down League of Legends-y looking sort of game, and up above that game, you see four different floating windows. And notice that as this goes on, that these floating windows are live. These aren't suspended applications. They are live. So as they're playing, for whatever reason, they decide they need to jump into Deep Seek. So what they do is they reach up and they tap on that application. And with a really nice animation, things reflow. Deep Seek takes the primary center stage, if you will. And then the other floating applications sort of reorganize themselves on the left-hand side because this is not a landscape application like that game was. Everything is now over there on the left. The keyboard pops up. They do whatever it is that they need to do. They get an answer going in deep seek and they decide, hey, while that's going, we're going to jump back into my game. And again, really, really nice animation. It slides down and they continue playing. Now that screen, that section of the screen that they are playing this game on is probably still a little bit bigger than a normal phone, but they have quick access to all of these other applications. They pull Deep Seek right back up and then they jump into this other application, which looks like maybe it's showing the stock market or something like that. One immediate question I have is why is this application landscape? Is this something that you can change? Can you tell it? I want this to be landscape or portrait. Can you resize this in any way? I don't think that you can because there wouldn't be a whole lot of room, but just something to think about there. But then they jump into this little, maybe this is like a photos application or something like that. But again, if you notice, the game, Deep Seek, all of these things are continuing to run in the background as they jump between all of these different applications very, very seamlessly and quickly. Things don't pause. Now, let me lay out why I think that this is a really, really intelligent solution to multitasking on these foldable devices. Currently, if you want to quickly switch between two different applications, you kind of have two ways to do this. One, you can open up your app of choice, and then let's say you're going to swipe up and hold and see your recent screen, and then you can jump into that second app. And that is one way to just quickly jump back and forth between different applications. Of course, you also have your taskbar, and you can do the same sort of thing here just by swiping up and then selecting your application to quickly switch. You can also swipe along the bottom of the screen to quickly jump between different applications as well. And both of these things, I think, work relatively well. But both of them have one big issue for me. It's that these applications that you're switching to are off screen and out of focus, and therefore they sort of suspend themselves. The best example I can give you is with Wise. Every time I go back to this application, let's just pull up this camera, every time I swipe away from it and come back to it, it's going to have to reload that camera. It's going to have to reconnect again, authenticate again, and then start showing live video again. Not all apps will do this, but a lot of them will. Now, of course, by using something like Oppo's Boundless View or OnePlus's Open Canvas, you kind of get around this, where you can move back and forth between these different applications without that wise application, without any application suspending and needing to reload. But this is only going to work with three applications at a time. While I do think that this is a big improvement over someone like Samsung's version of split screening, where those second and third apps, if you have a third app going, become these very, very small squares. You don't have anything quite like that here. In fact, you can fully expand all three of these applications to have three fully expanded full screen applications that you can rapidly jump between, not tiny 
little squares, it is, like I said, only three applications. So an obvious advantage here is that you're balancing between a total of five applications. Now you might say, yes, but Shane, it's four little floating windows, which you just said that you don't like, and then the one large screen. And that's absolutely fair. But let's be honest here. When we talk about multitasking, what we're really doing is one thing at a time, but we're switching very, very rapidly. So what I really like about this is, yes, you are really only doing one thing at a time, but that's true 99% of the time <laughs> anyways, but you also have the ability to very rapidly and in a very targeted manner switch directly to the app that you want. Let's say you're doing the swipe along the bottom thing and you need to go to an app that was three apps ago. You're going to go swipe, 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 get to that app, do what you need to do, then go swipe, 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 and get back to that other app. In this format, you just tap the app and then you tap the other app. That is so much simpler. And yes, I'm sure that they still have a standard side-by-side -side split screen because sometimes you're inputting text into one app and you need to reference the other app. You're going to still need that from time to time. But if you're in a scenario where you're jumping between multiple different applications, I think that this makes a ton of sense because you have that one you know, center stage app that's right there in the middle, and then you have your four other apps that you can rapidly jump between, and they are floating windows. So maybe one of them is your camera, maybe you're waiting on a package to be delivered or something, and that's there, and that's running in real time. Maybe one could be a video, and that's running in real time. I just think that this is an extremely smart solution, even if it is, by and large, something that they are copying from Apple. I'm not a big Apple guy. I don't own a single Apple product. But I will straight up tell you, this looks like a cool solution, and I think that it makes a ton of sense on an 8-inch screen, where maybe a full desktop experience with, you know, multiple floating resizable windows sounds cool, but isn't really tenable on an 8-inch screen. This looks like a phenomenal solution to multitasking on an 8-inch screen. At the end of the day, I just think it's awesome that we have these different OEMs coming up with these different solutions. Yes, we're going to keep the bottom swipe, we're going to keep the recent screen, we're going to keep the taskbar, we're going to keep the side-by-side -side split screen, but Oppo and OnePlus have open Canvas, and it looks like it's so good that Samsung and literally Google themselves appear to be preparing to copy it, at least to some degree. And now we have Vivo bringing out what is essentially their version of Apple's stage manager. And I think that it also looks like a really good solution to multitasking on an 8-inch screen folding phones. The software is just getting better and better and better. And that can only make me more and more excited. But I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Which solution do you think makes the most sense to you for your specific and subjective workflow drop that comment down below if you want to see the video firsthand i'll put a link down below to an article i wrote up over on shanecraig.tech where you can check that out for yourself subscribe for more content just like this guys and until next time stay nerdy my friends <laughs>